I thought he loved me. I walked towards him. Don't. I didn't even let him speak and take a step closer, resting my head against his chest, letting out another soap. Loud crawl, rumble from his chest is primal, could be heard again soon, I feel strong arms, pulling me tighter against his chest, and other on the back of my head, I cry loud as I snuggle in him as he speak. Who said I don't? I lift my head up and wipe my tears. Then what is this, huh? He sighs and places his hand on my neck. It's just to save you. I stare in his eyes. I said in crack voice. From whom? He leans in my ears. From me. His eyes darken and about to pull his hand away from my neck, but I lean in instead, placing my both hands on his chest. His body stiffens slightly beneath my palm. A low moan escapes his lip as I speak, staring right at him. Kiss me, I commanded while he groaned, but soon it turns to moan when my hands slide to his neck. Why and stop? I try to hold back my tear, but I still escape as I speak. We both need it. With a sudden burst of aggression, he pins me against the glass window, his lips crashing down in mine in desperate kiss. The air between me become electric as our lips brush against each other. His rough hand scrapes against my skin, sending shiver down my spine. Soon, his tongue darts out to, to explore my mouth, tasting and tracing every inch of my lips and teeth. With a deep primal growl, he pushed me harder against the glass and deepened the kiss. His left hand trails up my side, possessively, while his right hand grips fistful of fabric from behind, lifting me slightly off the ground as he takes control of the kiss, keeping his one hand on the surface of window. The kiss intensifies, becoming more demanding as he presses his body against mine. I can feel his aerosol growing against my stomach through his hid clothes. His tongue slides deeper into my mouth, dancing with mine in a sensual tango that leaves me breathless and wanting more. Suddenly I break the kiss and stare at him. Do you love me? I whisper in breathless tone. He gripped my hair and pulled me in as he speak. My love for you is not just lust. He leans in close, his breath tickling my ear as he speak. It's a deep and unyielding love. He whispers, one that will never fade away. I smile and wipe my tears as I wrap my arm around his neck. I don't know who you are, what you do, but I just know that I love you. I might hurt you in future. I'm not a good man. I realize as I'm finally feeling comfortable around him, not caring I'm still pinned against the glass, and all I feel like if he pushed me against the window again, I might be ending up falling in the air and fall right down on the street. I speak. Jungkook stopped already. I told you I don't need anything else. I, I'll think later. He sighed as he leans in and whisper. I might hurt you in future. I'm not a good man. So go and never come back. His eyes are dark pools of desire that seem to see straight through me. He run his tongue over his lips before speaking in low growl. Baby, leave, or I might end up doing something I might regret later. I sigh as I stare at him. Jungkook, shut up. I swear if you tell me again or leave, I swear I will. He groans as he whispers, I thought you finally grew up after our argument. I realized and said, I like your voice. It's deep. I said while not caring whatever he said, unless he's with me, I feel better. He takes a deep breath, trying to calm his nerve, knowing I won't behave. He suddenly leans in, his hand slides around to my lower back and pulls me even closer against him. My legs wrap around his face instinctively, and he responds by grinding against me, letting me feel just how turned on he is. I have a deep voice, yes and it will be echoing in your ears soon enough. I look at him confused as I said, why will it be echoing in my ears? He groan and lean in as he snuggle his nose on my neck before giving it a slight bite as he speak. Because when I'm in you, my voice will be the only thing you can hear, pounding against your walls, filling your mind. 
and you'll beg for more. Even as you hate yourself for it, your walls fill in your mind and you'll beg for more, even as you hate yourself for it. I try to process what he is saying, I roll eyes and said, I have a question, why you always lift me up? His eyes narrow, narrowing into hot and angry slits. I've never picked up anyone alive. He spits out, his voice oozing with venom. Just dead bodies. Seeing that he carries me, not caring what he said, all I care is we're finally together now. Carrying me to his bed, and soon I'm pinned on bed with my hand above my head. Leaning in, he captured my lips in a fierce kiss once again while his left hand sneaks under my shirt. Teasing the small of my back, his rough hand trailing down my body before he dives in to explore further. As he undoes the button of my shirt, his eyes linger on each exposed inch of skin. Hungry for more. I let him do whatever he wants. I'm just glad he's finally not mad at me. Though I wanted to apologize him for not forgiving him that time, but everything right now feels right. I speak. You know, I feel like I belong here. His voice dripping with scorn and contempt as he speaks. You're right where you belong, in my bed, under me, and when I make love to you, it won't be just for pleasure but also for claiming what is now rightfully mine. Your body will be constant reminder of my dominance. I stare at him as I pout. Why do you sound so controlling? You look like you own me. He leans in his lips brush against my collarbone as he speaks, making his fingers snake to my waistband. I will show you what it means to be truly owned, to be my possession. Your scream and moans will only fuel my desire, driving me deeper into your sweet depth. And when we're done, you'll know exactly who holds the power in this marriage. He leans in. As his lips crash into mine in a rough, bruising kiss, my hand slowly making its way to purpose here, eliciting a moan from my lips as he groans. It feels wrong, kind of dangerous. He warned me I didn't listen, but I feel like this is the only chance I have to win him, letting him do whatever he wants. I know well it can be risked, but I have nothing in my power to go against him but to give in. We both had been up all night having a long, passionate night together. It's now almost 4 a.m., both breathing hard. Exhausted, but still full of desire, the air is thick with the heat and lust. The room is hot and humid from the steam produced by your our bodies. He pulls me closer, tugging me under the blanket as I shiver beneath him, experiencing aftershocks of all the lust and love we share with each other. His lips brush lightly against corner of my lips. I love you. He confessed and scooped me. It's been three months. Jungkook and I are falling deeper in love with each other. The more we get to know each other, the more time we spend together. I smile as I stand in balcony staring at the sun which was shining brightly, casting a warm glow over everything and the water sprinkled like millions of diamonds. Letting out a soft exhale turns into gas when I feel my ass being spanked. I turn seeing him trying not to laugh. I rush towards him as I hit his chest. Congratulations for a half century. I said sarcastically. Yes, he spanked my ass 50 times since morning. I swear I can tell it's all red by now. Don't you have some shame, huh? Spanking my ass like it's a pillow or something. His voice lowers even further, the huskiness teasing me. He chuckled as he pulls me, grabbing my throat and kissing my lips firmly, feeling my back press against the railing as he mumbles between the kiss. You think I'll still have shame after sticking my nose beneath those ass cheeks of yours? He whispered before squeezing my hip. I moan, but hit his chest again. You're disgusting. He snorts. Oh, I swear you love it when I... Stick my finger. My eyes widen when I place my hand over my mouth. Oh my god, don't you s dare say that. He laughs as he leans in, placing soft kisses on the back of my hand, which I place to cover my mouth. As he whispers, pulling me close to his chest. I love you, my cute little mess. I blush as I speak. How many nicknames you have for me? He rolls eyes. When will my ear will be blessed to hear you say it back? I roll eyes back. Say what back? He scoffs. You know well. I sigh. 
No, I won't say it. I look away but smile, seeing the sunset as he grow. He take advantage to my exposed neck and passionately kissing there. Why can't you say it back? You don't love me? I sigh as I pull his hair a little to behave and control himself. Soon he pulls away and I speak. I'm just scared. What if I say it back and you tell me to leave again? He scowls as he hugs me tighter to his chest. Kissing top of my head. Never, baby. He lifts my face by my chin. As he speaks, his voice slightly showing he's guilty. I'm sorry for hurting you. I sigh as I smile and turn around so he can hug me from behind. As he snuggles his nose in the crook of my neck. It's okay, bro. He growls. And soon I gasp when I feel my ass being spanked again. Say that again and I'll make you scream my name right here until you see the sun falls and it's down. And I swear, the sun will rise. With your cries echoing in my ears, I gulp as I speak. I suggest you to control your thoughts and behave yourself as well. I try to sound stern but ending up squirming beneath his grip as he nibbles my neck. His hands snake inside my pants. Oh, and I suggest you to quit suggesting me and listen to what I told, princess. He said sarcastically. Suddenly, his phone rings. He withdraw his hand from my pants, moving to my waist as he speak on the phone. I was ready to let myself zone out. Uh, I'm not sick, it just happened. Anyway, I let out a breath and soon he hungs the call. Whoa, did you just say hi and bye on the phone? He chuckled and planted a kiss on my forehead. No, baby, it's just how I talk. I scoff and speak, lifting my head up to stare at his face. You liar, we talk for almost more than hours on phone when you're not at home, and you're always eager to talk more. He smiled as he slid his finger on the back of my neck, pulling me in as he placed a soft kiss on my lips and whispered, Cause it's you, my love, he said before biting my ear low. He smiled seeing me blush, he cuffs my face and started to kiss all over my face. I giggled, stop, god, you always do that. If you spend hours like last night, then it'll turn out into something else and I'm so not ready for it. He said while feeling his lips on my cheek as he said in cool tone, I would love to do that something else right now, but I have to take care of someone, something today. So say it quick, I'll have to go. I realize as I turn and start to speak what he made me learn in those months. I realize, my man, I swear not to go to kitchen and burn anything and I won't even walk around it and will be really careful while walking downstairs. I will mostly spend my time on bed, living room and gym room, do all the training and will behave with the trainer. Can we skip that part? He clears, crossing his arm. Mm-hmm. He warned. I sigh and speak. We'll behave with trainers and all the maids, not pranking them or dyeing their hair. I'll take well care of myself and make sure to eat and send you a picture of finished plates of mine and text you after every hour about my God, health. God, if I tried harder in learning my lesson like the way I had to force myself in this, I'd be CEO till now. He chuckled as he leans in and kissed my cheeks again. You're my queen. I realize you didn't set a good girl today. He smirked. I will say it once I come back and you'll be mourning my I snapped. Fine, go now. He laughed as he pulls me into his chest, his voice sounding slightly sad as he speak. Baby, I'm not feeling good today. Uh, I don't know, but having a bad vibe about something. Can you do me a favor, please? My eyes slightly widen as I pull my away slightly to see his face, which was buried in my neck. What happened? I said as I placed my hand on his cheek, trying to read his mind. He sighed and take my hand in his, which was covering his cheek. Just promise me you'll never leave me. No matter what, okay? I love you. I can't allow myself to breathe without you. I know and hug him. I promise he forced a smile and kissed my lips before storming out of balcony. I sigh. What happened to him? I turn to see the view again, but my eyes dart to his phone.
I grab his phone and run downstairs to give him that. But soon I reach the door. He's gone already. What if it's important? His phone should be with him, right? I finally decided to escape from here, keeping some money with me, looking at my left and right. Ew, what? are those pillars doing again? I look at them disgusted and tiptoed out of the mansion. I was lucky I didn't have to walk much. I got the taxi, I smile as I finally sit inside and then I realize. Where did he even go? How am I supposed to- I groan and whine. God, I can't do a single thing but then I remember something and told the driver to go there. After 50 minutes, I'm finally eating pizza at my favorite restaurant while everyone is side eyeing at me. I swear I have no idea what- Cheese on my thighs? What is it doing here? I look at my hand. Oh god, I forgot. I argued with the waiter to add X extra and more extra cheese on my pizza. Uh, I can barely taste pizza though but- it's alright. Walking to the bathroom, cleaning myself, God, it feels like time before marriage. Wait, God, I was on my mission. I walk out of bathroom and storm towards the taxi again. Uncle was nice, he waited for me. I was about to hop in, but then I see a tall figure with some mans, all in black, but there's one who walk like boss of them. I stare at them, they're all in black and holding guns. The guy's hair is silkier than mine, I swear. The tall guy had a little pony on his hair, perfectly suiting him. And the tattoos, wait, I have seen them? The man turns and turned out to be, what the? What is he doing here? This is the city where I used to live. I got in taxi and told him to follow him. As I stalk him, his car stopped at the dark, abundant building. I step out of the taxi and look around the tall building. My heart races. It's he's hiding something from me. Jungkook's point of view. Walking right at the place where my rival called me to bury him alive. Right at the place where he must be waiting for me for his death. Walking with my man, I finally reached at the spot. Soon he came into my side, I disgusted and hold my urge to shoot him right there. As I have to torture him, I step closer towards him, seeing him alone and smirking at me. Didn't know you'll come that prepared. My god, snort. I swear I'll kill him after that. Of course. Had to meet my brother after all. I disgusted at his fate. Don't dare call me that. But I did love you, didn't I? Love like a pure word never suited your tongue, which will be in pieces some in some minutes. Tiang laugh. Shut up. I didn't know you'll be like this. You were my best friend. I never in my life thought you'll betray me. That's what life is like, Jun. Oh, I even thought you'll take my girlfriend as I help Aiden kill your wife and your baby, didn't I? My heart clenched, but I tried to let go. I speak. Well, I did thought of it as well, but found someone else. Fuck. Tiang eyes widen in surprise as he smirked. Don't even dare to think of it. Laughs. You know well. More than yourself, fucker. Tell me. Why did you take innocent's life when we dealt on never taking someone's life who doesn't deserve it? Shrugs. I got rich. Was worth it. I punched in his face as I snapped. Tiang, if you even asked me for my life, I would give it to you without thinking twice. For fucking money you did that? Are you even a human? His expression changed into somewhat guilt, which I never thought in my life I'll see that after getting to know... He was in it. Really broke my heart. I can't expect these shits from myself, but not Poor from Gil him. I in punched his face him again as he let me speak. Say something, you fucker. I grab his collar, yanking him against the wall. K kill me. I release my grip from his shirt, emotion rising in myself too, but I kicked in and glare at him. Of course I will. I will kill you first, and then your family right after that, and if it's a woman, I swear on my life, I'll do the exact same right after you die to her. I'll kill every fucking human who were into it. Damn, you're the person whom I disgust the most. I hate you that much that it's hard to even allow myself to see your face. You deserve to die. 
I'll kill you slowly. Don't worry, it'll be torturous and will feel amazing first. You'll be cut in pieces, but let's bleed first, huh? I take my gun out while other men gathered. He was fooled to come with no man, cause I won't let him die until his body is just in pieces. Jungkook, I know I made a mistake and that's why I, I, I surrender. You can kill me. I don't know what had gotten in me that time. Aiden just brainwashed me, yet he kidnapped my girlfriend as well. I had no option but to give in. But no, my sister, please. She's innocent. Don't kill her. I let out a laugh as I recoil my gun and speak. Funny. Oh, of course I won't kill her. I'll torture her. I'll torture her that much that she'll kill herself. You just wait for your dad, and after that, I'll have a lot of fun with that woman probably waiting for her brother to come back home. She'll suffer exactly like the way you made her dead. She'll cry back out of thirst, and I'll still give nothing to her. I'll abuse her that much, dad. She'll beg herself for death. Fuck no. He growls as he rushes towards me, but I immediately point my gun right at his head to keep him at his place. Jungkook, you can't do that. I laugh bitterly as I close my eyes, still can't see him dead and shoot him. A familiar voice screamed my name. I opened my eyes, but my heart dropped, not believing what's coming in my sight. Wyan in Taeyang's arm and blood covering her shirt, which was mine. I rushed towards her and snatched her from Taeyang's grip with shaking hands. I gently picked her up and cradled her against my chest. My heart ached for her beating frantically as if trying to escape from my chest. I couldn't breathe properly, each breath feeling like a knife cutting through me. The world around me seemed to fade away, leaving only the two of us in haze of confusion and fear. My love for her was a raging fire, burning bright and far within me. The blood on her shirt was a grim reminder of how close we had come to losing each other. Tenderly, I pressed a makeshift cloth against her wound, Trying to staunch the flow of blood as I yell, Vian, please stay with me. My heart was pounding against my chest like a drum scooping her in my arms, placing my one hand on her chest to prevent from blood flow. And other on her neck, I scream in fear of losing her, Vian, please stay alive. I begged calling her name, Vian. My heart clenched seeing her vulnerable state. She tried to speak, her tears keep flowing down her cheeks. I kiss her all over the face I feel like. I'm losing her. I look down at her pale face as she opens her lips apart to speak. A soft, low whisper weakly escaped her mouth. If I was that woman, would you do the same? I froze on my spot and my heart sank as I turned my head to look at Tang, finding him covered in tears as he speak. I failed to protect you as your brother, Ryan. I'm sorry.